Kramer and what I'm going to be talking to you about today is how to make a three minute video and this entire talk about how to make a three minute video is shot on an iPad and it's a three minute video. So this is based on Make Your Own Video, a simple guide to communicating your research effectively. What's the first step? Of course, discovering your story. Why are you a scientist? What's interesting about it? What do you want people to know about it? We have all sorts of tips, how to, how to prepare, know who your audience is, and we have a lot of hardware and software recommendations, such as iPads, iPhones, here's an iPhone on a tripod, for example. Next, including components of a successful video. Video clips that you might have. How about photographs? Even family photographs. People like to know who your family is. How about a photo of your lab book? All scientists have lab books. They're interesting to look at. We talk about music, voiceover, and we talk about images. What to use and what not to use. Another important step, if you can, is connecting to ocean literacy. If you can connect to one of the ocean literacy principles in your video, like I study ocean currents that are connected to this ocean literacy principle, teachers will be much more likely to use your video in their classroom. Next step, number four, make your storyboard. What's a storyboard? Looks like this. It's like a cartoon. It's where you actually write out, in, probably in pencil because you'll do some erasing, what your story is and what it's going to look like. We give you lots of tips for how to do that. Next, creating your video. Oh, the fun part. Lots of tips about how to prepare things to have. Make sure you have water, make sure you have your microphone, make sure that you have your whatever you're going to be shooting on, iPad or iPhone, make sure they're charged up, ready to go, and duct tape. Better bring your duct tape, you never know. We give you all sorts of tips about filming. So I'm out here with my iPad filming. And I was thinking that it would be nice to maybe try a close-up of these flowers since they're so pretty. So I might do some experimenting with close-ups, with traveling shots, with panning. You know, you can take a few, see how they look. It'll play right back, see what it looks like. And if you don't like it, try it again. Experiment. Then it's going to be time to go back into the studio and do some editing. You can expect, if you're going to make a two to three minute video, to spend a day editing, it can take you a while. But that's really where you construct your story. And then last but not least, now that you're done, how do you share it? You can post it on YouTube, you can post it on our blog, makeyourownsciencevideos.wordpress.com, or just email me, katherine.kramer at gmail.com. We'll help you get it into the hands of thousands of teachers across the U.S. So, I hope you're excited. Pick up your camera, go out and make a movie. Bye!